different has been the start here in, in, in Tennessee been from your start with the Dolphins when you started your career in the NFL? Uh, that was a long time ago, um, ages ago. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we've done some good things here and excited to uh, hopefully build on that as we finish out this season. Getting the I'm opportunity of you. to clinch, you know, a playoff berth and actually end the playoff opportunity for your former team, does that add any anything to this, this matchup this week? Well, I mean, obviously focusing on ourselves and, and what we have in front of us, it's a huge game for us. Uh, obviously, they're, they're coming in hot. And they've been playing really good football on both sides of the ball, and um, it's going to be a good challenge for us. But we have a, a big opportunity here this week for us and uh, excited for that opportunity here at home. Do you have any buddies that are still on that team? Or, or And what are maybe your, your memories from your time there? You're you mostly a positive experience, or how would you describe it? Uh, I mean, I, I'm thankful for my time in Miami. You know, it was a special time in my life. I grew a lot there as a person, as a player, I became a father, uh, grew as a husband, and, uh, and grew on the field as well. So, you know, thankful for, for my time there. Uh, as far as people, there's not a whole lot of people left, uh, players left that were, that were there. There was a few guys, handful of guys that are still on the team, but uh, there's been a lot of turnover there. So, um, you know, not, not a, a big carryover of guys. But yeah, thankful for my time there. And um, you know, have have no ill feelings towards Miami. You still have a home there. Uh, in Fort Lauderdale, yes. Uh, what, 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 what do people say when they see you, maybe on the streets, uh, when you are down there? <laughs> I mean, people are friendly, you know, just like they are most most places. Uh, mostly good experiences. What's the biggest thing for you, Ryan, when when you look at your first stop where you were, and now you're in a total different area, a total different team. I mean, what's the biggest thing for you growth-wise that you've seen out of yourself with the second team? I mean, you try to learn from every experience in life. You know, whether it's a good experience, a bad experience, you try to take something from, from every experience, whether it's in football or in life in general. And so, um, you know, I grew a lot in my time in Miami, and uh, I think I've used that both good and bad experiences to, to help me grow to where I'm at today. Like I mentioned, on the field and off the field, it was a, it was a huge growth in my life. You know, basically spent most of my 20s in Miami. So, um, you know, thankful for, for that growth, thankful for the time there, and, um, you know, excited to, to keep pressing forward. If you could sort of pick maybe, a, you know, one of the lessons, one or two of the lessons that you feel like you learned, whether it was on the field or, or off down there, what, what comes to mind quickest for you? I, think. I mean, it's tough to, tough to pick just one or two things. You know, you learn so many things um, through leadership, through uh, being a, a husband, being a father, uh, facing adversity, um, handling success, you know, you know, navigating the NFL in general, you know, as, as a player, you know. So, um, you know, all those things were, were crucial uh, in my growth and, and to where I'm at today. A lot after the game, but how, uh, again, how good was it to have him back? And is he a type of guy that you throw him the ball, you feel like he's going to end up with it if it's anywhere close? Yeah, it was great to have AJ back. You know, I've, I've talked about how I love throwing AJ the ball and love playing with him. And, uh, you know, he kind of showed us why on, on uh, what, what day was it, Thursday. Um, you know, it's a heck of a playmaker. He, he makes plays all over the field. Uh, I definitely have a lot of confidence if, if I'm throwing it in his area that if he has a chance to go get it, he's going to go make the play. So, um, yeah, excited to have AJ back and look forward to building on what we did last week. You guys failed out of a, a lot of third and dangerous situations. I imagine you feel like the next step is, is to a avoid those. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You don't want to be in, in third and long really at all, and, and definitely not as many times as we were. Kill ourselves with penalties and, and negative plays, and uh, don't want to put yourself in that, in that position because on average you're not going to convert uh, nearly the number that we did. So uh, definitely want to be more efficient on first and second down, keep ourselves out of the negative situations, and have manageable third downs. How much did you feel like you guys <laughs> Recharge with the mini buy, and even even though you had a later buy, still got a you know another weekend off to kind of recuperate and get maybe get some more guys back. Yeah, no doubt. I think we, we took advantage of the time uh, mentally and physically just to kind of get healthy. Uh, obviously, you know, dealing with some COVID stuff, but uh, you know it was it was good to be able to spend time with family over the holiday, uh, recharge mentally again. You know, just coming off the buy, it wasn't like it's been a long time, but you know, anytime you can kind of take to recharge and get yourself geared up. 
uh, for, for what we have in front of us. Now there's a lot of excitement moving forward to finish the season strong. You've been sacked 45 times. The Dolphins lead the league with 45 sacks. So what really stands out when you look at their pass rush and, and how they're able to get to the quarterback? Yeah, they're relentless. They do a good job. Uh, they're bringing pressure uh, all over the place. You know, one of the highest percentage pressure teams. Uh, they're bringing cover zero more than you know most any team out there. Uh, so they're they're putting you know seven eight guys on the line of scrimmage and they're coming after you, making you get the ball out. So uh, definitely have to have a plan for that. And then uh, we have to block them. You know, the times that that they're not going to bring pressure. You know, they're relentless pass rushers. Not a lot of big names, so to say, pass rushers. But guys are relentless. They're they're rushing. They don't stop. They fight hard. And if you uh, you give them a, an inch or, or an edge to to get to the quarterback, they're going to take it. Week when you Mike said that Taylor's back, but still don't know who for sure is going to be available on your offensive line. Still don't know who's going to be available at receiver. How do you get through the week with that? Is it through zooms? Is it through past experience with guys? And how do you approach it yourself? Yeah, no doubt it's not ideal. But we've been in a lot of situations this year that haven't been ideal. So uh, we, we fight through it. We. we take advantage of the opportunities we get, whether it's on Zoom, uh, communicating. Um, you know, a lot of the guys have been here, so we, we have that going for us. But uh, yeah, you just try to try to communicate, take advantage of, of the technology we have, which, which includes Zoom. So it's not like they're just at home completely missing out on what we're doing. They're still able to go through the install, still able to hear the coaching points as we you know, cover the defense, cover what we're uh, going to do as, as our plan of attack. And uh, hopefully they can you know, bring that with them whenever they step back in the building. The AJ question, but do you just naturally feel more confident in terms of things like like tight window throws, you know, throwing further downfield? Natural to feel more confident when you've got a guy of AJ's caliber uh, out there again? Yeah, no doubt. You know, whenever you have uh, confidence in, in the player on the other side of the, the pass, it uh, – it allows you to just just trust him and, and cut it loose and, and let him go make a play. You know, it may not be the perfect look, but when you have a guy who's shown you uh, time and time again that he'll make a play for you, you, you can cut it loose.